Good evening, everyone. <laughs> we... Don't concentrate on the details. The thing is... <laughs> that, that's my motto for doing this show. Don't bother with the details or any quality. That's good. <laughs> We have to be very quick uh, tonight because the show is packed full of... Yeah, there's a lot uh, of good uh, stuff. A lot going on. Man, boy, it's a big show. Big show. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the usual crap, but there's a yeah, lot of, yeah, you know... Yeah. A lot of got to get done. And so we don't have time for messing around tonight. Suffice to say, um, we are... Um, but not like any other late-night show. Not like any other late-night show. We'll be right back. Save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at Geico.com or call 1 800 947 Auto. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Convincing, very wasn't nice. it, Jeff? Yeah, sure. It almost sure. sounded like they were pleased to see me and they hadn't just been prodded by a desperate warm up comedian. <laughs> Jeff, have you ever been prodded by a desperate warm up comedian? Many times, many times. <sighs> me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said something very rude there. I understand. Were you, uh, were you his opening act? <laughs> Don't, yeah, if, the, if you're going to ooh that, then you better leave now, yeah, because because yeah. it's going to get worse. Yeah, it is. It's going to get worse. <laughs> then it'll get better. Then it'll get worse. Then it'll get real. Then it'll get different. And then shut up and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, keeping it classy all the way till Christmas. Keeping it classy all the way to Christmas. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Not, although, not a great day if you're a racist basketball team owner. <laughs> The NBA has banned the Clippers owner Donald Sterling for life. He's pretty old. They could have just said two years. It's the same thing. <laughs> He's not allowed to have any contact with any professional basketball whatsoever. He's like an honorary LA Laker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They fined him two and a half million dollars. This is two and a half million dollars for this guy. <laughs> He's got so much money, he's making me talk high like this. He stood up and he's like, wah, wah. Two and a half million, a typical NBA game, two and a half million dollars is what you pay for big foam fingers. <laughs> well, if you get the big foam fingers that I like, you can get the other ones cheaper, but. Yeah, right, right. Jeff, have you ever had big foam fingers? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Have you ever had big foam fingers from a desperate warm up comedian? Yes, I have. <laughs> Yeah. Very sad news today. According to People magazine, Prince Harry has broken up with his girlfriend. They're speculating his girlfriend will be replaced by Chelsea Handler. <laughs> or me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 
thanks, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's a great move for you, Craig. Yeah, you could be Prince Harry's dolly mop. <laughs> can I say dolly mop? I don't know. Are Victorian swear words allowed? <laughs> Anyway, the big news out of Hollywood, they announced the cast for the new Star Wars movie. One of the stars is a young actress, Daisy Ridley. No one knows much about her, but there's rumours she's playing the daughter of Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher. Which makes sense, because you can see some resemblance. Did we get a picture of the young actress? There you are, so... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Keeping it classy, all the way to Christmas. Keeping it classy, all the way to Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. No. Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill is back as Luke Skywalker, and that's great, but it's been over 30 years. Luke Skywalker is getting very old. How old is he? Jeff, let's play. Luke Skywalker is getting old. Okay. All right, like, Luke Skywalker is so old, he needs a pill to make his lightsaber go up. <laughs> okay, okay. He's so old, his land speeder always has its blinkers on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, he's so old, his X-Wing fighter needs tennis balls on the bottom. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Oh, the only thing that he buys from Jawas is soup. <laughs> he's so old, he uses the force to make his grandkids called. <laughs> he, he's so old, his robot hand flies off when he uses the clapper. <laughs> the clapper. And that, and that was one, the clapper. There was one clapper in the audience. <laughs> no, no, that was someone clapping from outside just walking by. Oh, I it, was see, I see. it was someone walking by clapping. You I just heard a different thing. Anyway, there's only one really big showbiz story today, obviously. Everyone's asking me about it. I, I can't shy away from it, so I should talk about it. It's a day I knew it would come eventually, but I'm not emotionally prepared for. That's right, it's the nominations for the Tony Award! <laughs> Tony Awards nominations announced this morning celebrating the best of Broadway. The ceremony is on June the 8th right here on CBS. It will be hosted by Hugh Jackman, although I wouldn't count on it because here at CBS hosts seem to be jumping ship left and right. <laughs> <laughs> But I just want to say congratulations to my dear friend Stephen Fry, who was nominated for the first time. He was on Broadway in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. He played Malvolio, a character opposed to any form of human sin. Which, if you know Stephen Fry, is quite possibly the most absurd thing you've ever heard. <laughs> a few years ago, we did a show here with Stephen Fry, and there was no audience. And it was the best audience we ever had. <laughs> I didn't mean them. I didn't mean you guys. I didn't mean you. No, not at all. I did mean them. <laughs> Do you know, after we did that show, people on the internet were saying, oh, they, they had no audience on that show because they couldn't afford to pay the audience that they normally <laughs> pay. Pay, pay. Sometimes people on the internet say mean things. They do. <laughs> Very cruel. It hurts us. It hurts us quite a bit. I, don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say it hurts us, but, it, you know, it's mean. Very upsetting. Does it upset you? Makes me crazy. <laughs> Don't read it then, man. Yeah, man. No, I, I've thrashed many a hotel room reading that crap. <laughs> is that code? Yeah, yeah. Do you know that Neil Patrick Harris is also nominated? Congratulations, Neil. Best leading actor in a musical. He's hosted the Tonys. Hosted the Tonys. Uh, he's, uh, he's hosted the Tonys, now he's nominated for one. He won three Emmys for hosting the Tonys, including one Emmy he won the same year he hosted the Emmys. Man, that guy could host anything. Your move, Internet. <laughs> All right, I think I've set enough little fires going. Yeah, I understand, enough. yeah. You're really getting them going, boy. Well, getting people worked up. You're really getting people worked up over there. I don't think anyone's really worked up, are they? Got that, got that foam finger out. You're going to work with that foam finger. That Donald Sterling guy's something else, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, it's sad. What a charming character he is. <laughs> he should host this show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. 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 No, probably not a good choice. Not a good idea. Yeah. No. Although we could put together our uh, money that we're supposedly getting and buy the Clippers. Oh, we should do that. Yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah. Well, 
<laughs> That's not even a thing. Uh, there's no money for there's that. There's no money. Come there's on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> we, could, we, we might be able to get a ticket. <laughs> Commercial break? Sure, why not? You're watching The Late Late Show. We're keeping it classy all the way to Christmas. <laughs> Crazy, am I right, Jeff? Crazy. Crazy. We're having a real good time uh, celebrating the work of. Hey, that's what I should do. Musicals. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. When I get done with the show at the end of the year, I'll go to Broadway. They'll love me. They'll think oh, I'm like that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's a great idea. They'll be, they'll be like, hey. It's Liza Minnelli. I was you a late night douche. <laughs> we could do we could do a musical, you and me together. We could be uh, Craig and the Angry Robot. That's uh, yes, that's right. We could. This is it, Craig. We could tell our story on stage, in song, in song. <laughs> now nah, let's not. All right. <laughs> What time is it, Jeffrey? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who just used the force to scratch an itch on his dark side. <laughs> With a jingle, would you? This is from Scott in London, England. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, right. Uh, now, why did you go into Australian there? Did no, you meet I, an Australian I, I, person I, I, when I you were in I thought I made a choice there, and then I went the other way. Oh, OK. <laughs> right. We should talk like this for the rest of this email. Right, talk yeah. in his sort of Cockney, hello, governor. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, all right. Would you like it up the chimney, sir? <laughs> yeah, only, only if you wear a foam finger. Right. <laughs> That's all right, right? I'm a chimney sweeper. Right, so yeah. would, you like, would you like the brush to yeah, grab your chimney? You're right, exactly. Yeah right, yeah, right. All right, dear Craig, would you have any interest in playing a villain on Foil's War now that you have some free time this winter? Well, first of all, thank you for the sensitive nature of your tweet. <laughs> I'd love to be a villain on Foil's War. Oh, that'd be that'd great. Be great. It's your favourite show, man. Yeah, it's it is my favourite show. It's on, it, it's, on the, it's on the British television. <laughs> The British TV. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, they've got a name for it. Where is it? Can you not say the name of it? Is that? Uh, no, I think I can say it. Yeah. Is, it the, is it the BBC? No, it's not that one. It's it, the other one. It's the other one? Yeah. BBC America? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great show. With the, he's a detective and he solves crimes. He's like, oh, this seems to have been a murder. <laughs> And he wears the hat. I watched an episode. I finally watched one. Oh, did you like it? It's very good. Yeah, he wears a hat like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, you know, there's, there's been a, all you uh, Germans, get over there. <laughs> You're absolute, absolute, what an absolute shower. Get over there. Get in the back of that van and go over there. I, I am so sorry that I have been naughty. I apologize for my crimes. Yeah, as well. <laughs> Yeah, well, you Germans have been very naughty in this war, and you, uh, you're not going to win it, so just give me your gun and go and stand over there in the corner <laughs> and think about what you've done. All right, but, but here's my gun, but it wasn't my fault. He told me to do it, and I just thought it was something fun to do. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Please don't hurt me. Please. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. All uh, right, very good. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is from Annabelle in Columbus, Ohio, says, Craig, is it true that Jeff is taking over your show in December? <laughs> what? Is that true? No, no, no. No, no, no. Jeff, how no, could no. you? No, man, I would never. I would never go back. I would never. I would, it's absolutely true. It's going to happen. <laughs> no, man, that's not true. I'm being turned into a leaf blower after this is over. <laughs> you know that. 
I think I've seen you blow lease before. Before it was when we were in Toronto. Yeah, I think. That's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Whoa. Hey! Uh, let, no. Shut up! Now let me tell you something. Let me tell. <laughs> hey! Let me explain something to you, studio audience, if that's what you call yourself. <laughs> you ooh like that, you alert the sensor, the, the sensor that there may be something untoward going on. Until that moment, they're asleep. <laughs> but when they hear ooh, they go, what? <laughs> and they lift up their head from their journal and they lick their quill and they say, no, Craig, you will not say any naughty words on your late night show because you were a fat little boy. <laughs> I may have taken it too yeah, far. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw a commercial, would sure, you? Sure, man. <laughs> we'll be back after this with the show that's not like any other late night talk show. <laughs> tonight is a wonderful actress, a friend of mine. She's a very, very nice woman. She smells great. She does. Oh, yeah, this is the th one of the things you really miss about uh, with television. If you could smell this woman, you'd be like, wow, man. <laughs> it's a kind of combination of jasmine and lavender and yeah. just... And cookies, and cookies. Yeah, and cookies. Yeah. She stars in Hot in Cleveland on Wednesdays on the TV Land Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie Bethanelli, everybody. for these lovely flowers. Got them myself. They're really nice. They Out look a little room. bit like the flowers that we put in the dressing rooms for the guests. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd return the favor. Yeah, because I was on Hot in Cleveland last week. You were on Hot in Cleveland last week. And it was your birthday. It was my birthday. And I gave you some flowers. Right, from your dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> onto the set and go and they all started singing happy, happy whatever he goes happy birthday I'm at first I was like, oh Craig because no one else did that for me that day and then I realized oh everybody gets those flowers in their dressing room <laughs> yeah but I thought I was special you are special and let me tell you why those boots <laughs> yeah boots every time I'm on your show because you complimented the first time so there's these oh, are my Craig yeah. Ferguson boots yeah I like them uh, I do I like a woman in boots very sexy are they comfortable to wear it's a bit hot for boots it, it, not here outside it is yeah you, but <laughs> what do you wear outside <laughs> I'll just go open to toed espadrilles <laughs> I love that you know that yeah <laughs> Listen, the one thing I learned early on about women, know about shoes. Yes. Know about you shoes. You always compliment her shoes. Yeah, compliment a woman's shoes, because very few women feel self-conscious about their shoes. So they won't go, True. what the hell, or yeah. hey, or what that. And Most of the things, yeah, we don't really like about ourselves, yeah. we put up with it. And, yeah. But our shoes, we're always very proud of. Right, because you're the same size shoe from, you know, teenage years on. So it hasn't gone yeah, up and down. No matter down. how much weight you gain, you can wear the same right, size exactly. shoe. Right, <laughs> exactly. Unless sometimes I think when women are pregnant, their feet grow. Actually, mine did. Really? Yeah, I grew from a six and a half to a seven and a half but I'm st I stayed at seven and a half oh right so they grew and they never went back no <laughs> but at Are one point I couldn't even wear a seven and a half I had pictures where I, I had Barney rubble feet they were so big <laughs> Wolfie was two weeks late and my feet just got bigger and bigger and bigger you were turning into a hobbit when you were <laughs> pregnant <laughs> How bad? A short, little, yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. The what yeah. age is Wolfie now? Was, <laughs> how much is Wolfie? What? No, what, what, what age is he now? He's 23. Oh, my Lord. It's the long time ago I oh, gave birth to wow. him. Wow. Yeah. I'm now suddenly a grandpa. How old are yours? 
12 and 3. Oh, right, yeah. right, right, yeah. You have a long way to go. Well, you know, I, you know, Scottish people, we ejaculate once every 10 years, and uh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> whether, <laughs> whether there's anyone else there or not. <laughs> Yeah, that's I don't it. know why Donald Sterling just came in. Oh my, my lord! <laughs> Ooh. Man, that's a terrib I, that's a terrible horrible. thing, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think. I'm just wondering how many billionaires out there are now wondering what they've said to their gold digger girlfriends <laughs> and how scared they are. <laughs> well, to be honest. I, I have a few. No, I don't. I don't know, Mr. Sterling. I don't. I don't know, either. I, I, I don't, don't want to. Uh, no, I don't want to either. Mm -hmm. But I, I and, and far be it from me to judge anyone on I'll a judge. media report. But <laughs> but I I think he's probably one of these people that doesn't give a rat's ass. You know, I mean, I two and a half he million does. dollars. I I, yeah, two and a half million dollars isn't really going to do much damage to him. Not to him. No. no. And and then you know he he has to sell the team that he bought. He's going to make a lot of money off of it. Speaker, he could make more than two and a half million dollars. A heck of a lot more. Yeah. You know? And then he. Can't what, you can't play professional basketball or something? Right, That's it. right. There might be less gold diggers willing to give him... Uh-oh. Hang on, hang on a second. What did I tell you about the ooze? <laughs> because of... Your ooze and now it'll get beat. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me no, no, today. Valerie, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Well, I think you're, you're not coming back after December, so they can't fire you now. <laughs> because... <laughs> Schnitzel. Genius! <laughs> oh, no, no. So listen. No, we mustn't. We mustn't do that. I, uh, I, no swearing. You're not on cable now. You're not on one of your profane cable shows now. But we're on basic cable, so we can't swear either. No, but you, you guys don't swear on that show. That's right. It's very, it's nice. It's whole, wholesome. <laughs> yeah, you've been there enough. Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on that show quite a lot. Now. I know. Hopefully I, more now. Well, who knows? But I, I, uh, I like it very much. Don't play hard to get. <laughs> Who knows? He's in the finale. I mean, he's in the. the hey, cliffhanger. spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> the hell? Well, we don't know if you're coming back, though. I guess it's you know. Well, we we genuinely don't. have a don't. job after December. Yeah, right. I don't. When do you? When is the finale? Uh, I think that airs the end of August. Oh, really? September? So it's just kind of getting going now, then. Yeah, yeah. We, right. We're just. I think our third or fourth episode airing. Did you do a live? You did a live one this year. We did. I wouldn't do that. No, no, because no, you do right. it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, isn't it frightening? To no, it's, a, it's really a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like being shot out of a cannon and you're, a lot of nerves and Have rush adrenaline. Have you ever been shot out of a cannon? <laughs> Maybe in the 80s? No, I... <laughs> I actually haven't. You really have? No, you know, and I won't now. You know, know, after you have kids, you don't want to do all the things that you thought you wanted to do before you died. That's true. You want to do. I wanted to jump off out of an airplane. I wanted to bungee jump. Yeah. I wanted to cl climb one of those big mountains somewhere in the world. Not anymore. No, after you have kids, all you want to do is have a nap. <laughs> That's true. <Yeah. laughs> That's true. Yeah. Anyway, we have to take a break. Why? <laughs> I mean, they can't fire you. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you're. Oh, you're but the advertisers deserve this break. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of those women that could lead a man astray and get him, <laughs> get, him, get him to say things he wouldn't normally say. I've done it to a few. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Valerie Bertinelli. <laughs> Bertinelli, what else is going on with you then? What are you going to do when you're done with this show? Uh, um, you moving in late night? I heard rumors you were taking over this show. <laughs> Never. You no. wouldn't do that? You'd be good no. at a talk show. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I do like doing talk shows, and maybe one day, you know, when um, this... Uh, that's what I was thinking about you. It's like, you're such a talented actor, and you're such a funny actor. It's like, you don't really need to do this. You have so many other things. I mean, the... the <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He's... <laughs> Are you saying I've been slumming it for the past 10 years? No, 
no, but all those other guys on late shows, they're all very talented, but they're all comics. But they don't act. You're a comic that acts. Excuse me a second. Shut up. Come you could do anything. And really? You could, do a could, game I, show? Valerie, could I do anything? Are you doing a game show? What? What? Yeah, I'm doing a game show. You ever done a game show? I have. You have? I'm not hosted it, but I've been <laughs> on them. <laughs> well, that's good. What ones have you been on? Um, who wants to be a millionaire? Really? Were you a contestant? Y yeah. Oh, celebrity who wants yeah. to be a millionaire, right. Yeah. No. I, because I, I mean, I've been around for, you know, 1,800 years. I wish, I wish you wouldn't be tough on yourself like that. <laughs> it's not necessary. You're adorable. <laughs> but Just I have. Amazing. I've been around since, I mean, I started doing this when I was 12. It's a long time. That's 40... No, 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 it's 20... Yeah. <laughs> 20... Uh, yeah. Did you... Did you go to college? I didn't. I didn't finish high school. I'm shy two credits. Yeah, I didn't. Thanks for making me feel stupid. No, 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 no. I didn't finish high school either. Really? No, and but I. But you had to take a big test to become a citizen. No, not when I did it. No. No. When I did it, it was like, do you like gum? Do you hate Al Qaeda? Good, you're in. Off you go. <laughs> uh, they changed that a bit, but okay. uh, yeah, but it's uh, no, it was easy. And then you know, it was like, the, the ceremony's fantastic. They have that. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Wait. I bet you cried. I did, actually. Yeah. I did cry a little bit. It's very emotional to yeah. become an American, you know. Do you, so you just have that passport? You can't go to Scotland anymore? No, I'm still allowed to travel <laughs> the air. It sounded stupid. Yeah. No, I didn't finish high school, though, so it's okay. You're amongst friends. You don't need to finish high school if you're in show business. I've done okay so far. <laughs> yeah. But it's still, you know what? There's still that nagging thing that I just, I feel like I don't know as much as I should. So I'm always reading the newspaper and going on the internet and reading way too much and well, watching. Well, you might want to be careful about the internet. Because <laughs> I've, I've noticed sometimes they print or they write things on there that aren't, aren't true. Aren't quite accurate. Yeah, aren't yeah. true. That's true. It's Is not it? true. It's true that it's not true. <laughs> Well, I feel we've all learned And they can be here. mean on the internet. People can be. What are you playing with there? Is I that... It must be a nerve thing. I don't know. My husband got this for me when we went to Italy. Oh, my wait, wait. Was... It's got a key on it. To his heart. Oh, I thought it... Right? I thought it was something a little more like... <laughs> <laughs> really? No. No. Uh, you and your husband go to Italy with the... <laughs> You wearing your boots Let's and the key, yeah. Works. Oh my God. Does it work? <laughs> Almost. Yeah. It's the same shape. Anyway. Well, you know. Uh, I can I can honestly say I've never done bondage. <laughs> well, we have to take a commercial break, everybody. Valerie Bertinelli, where we're at. Very, very talented actor uh, with, a, uh, with a lovely beard. Yeah, very sexy. Very, very nice, nice beard. beard. You can yeah. see him in Salem, which is Sundays on WGN America. Take a look at this. That's, that's exactly like negotiations in late night television. Yeah. <laughs> Seth Gable, everybody. Seth Gable. You look good, man. I haven't Thank seen you, you for a while. You look sensational. It's been a while. I think really? I've been dressed so much as a Puritan lately, just wearing all black. I think I got a little excited about it. No, you've gone oh. completely hipster gay, and I love it. <laughs> but, uh, Jeff, what do you yeah. think? Yeah, looking good, man. Looking svelte. I love yeah. Svelte. Yeah, nice. No, it's, it's all happening. Yeah. Like, nothing could be less Puritan than what you're wearing, right? Right. Well, some things could be, but this is great. And I, I think mean, that's what the show's about, too. Kind of like, when you have this oppression that's on you for a long time, you kind of explode with fabulousness after. I, uh, <laughs> right up here, girl. That's okay. my word. <laughs> it is not. I'm not uncross my legs now. Nah, you're all right. Rel relax, it's okay. Okay. You have to undo the bottom button. Have you got the Do other? I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have, it's all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're okay. Okay. Then a few more. 
Yeah. <laughs> Now, so, the, the, tell me about the show. It's a reimagining of the Salem Witch Trials? Yeah, it's, we're, we're reimagining, recontextualizing what actually happened. And what I love about it is we're kind of playing the game that perhaps the truth isn't accurate to the facts, but what we're saying might actually get closer to what it, what it really felt like to be there during that time. So it's 1690 Salem. It's, it's people that just came to America, and we really try to get into the mind of what it must have been like to, been in, to be involved in that hysteria during that time. Well, th this is a, an unusual bunch of people because they escape from medieval England yeah. because religious practices aren't strict enough. Yeah. I knew we could talk about this. this yeah, no. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, religious practices in Britain in the Middle Ages were pretty strict. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, they would, like there's nothing you you could do anything. They're coming out of the Inquisition. The right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So they were going to a new world where literally anything was possible. But in the anything is possible, there's your belief in the devil. So the devil could exist in those woods. I mean, this was a new world. Like if if you if you were to think about us going to a new planet now, it's like anything could be on that planet. And right. It must have felt like for them to go over to this new world be sandwiched between the ocean and the dark forest and all that. Well, here's an interesting thing as well about that time. When to be accused of witchcraft, yeah. right, in that time was to be guilty, pretty much. You had to prove you were innocent. Yeah, because yeah. the higher court was, was God right. in heaven. Yeah. But doesn't, don't you think that there's, a, there's a, a mob mentality that exists like that now in popular culture? For example, if yeah. I was to say, accuse you of, let's take a, a heinous crime. Mm -hmm. um, if I was to accuse you of uh, some form of molestation, I think in the in popular culture, it would then be your, your obligation. Would you would have to prove you were innocent, yeah. contrary to what the law says. Yeah. And do you think the mob is always like that? Uh, I think so. I think so. I mean, I remember reading once about Twitter, how like an anthropological study on Twitter and why why we're using the internet for social gossip rather than for enlightenment and sharing right. knowledge. And it's kind of it goes back to our caveman roots, where sharing little bits of information with each other, like you know, making a comment about where the food supply was, or or commenting on the leader if he's doing a good job or not. That's why people kind of become obsessed with that act. And the internet is just an extension of those primitive instincts. Yeah, but at the same time, you get stuff like the, the people who spend uh, all day on Facebook or Twitter or whatever the, the site is with yeah. their own little famous world. I'm, I'm famous in this world. Here's what I've done. I yeah. had lunch. I, I, you know, groomed my cat. I did all these. Is that what you do? On, That's on what I do, <laughs> obviously. You know, I, I have lunch, I groom my cat, and I take a nap. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that... I think it might lead to a particularly uh, tricky form of narcissism, which didn't yeah. exist before. Yeah, I mean, everyone's all about the selfies now. Right, right. Which, I which know, seems... I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, selfie, it seems selfish, you know? Like, why don't we do, I don't know what the word would be for taking pictures of other people than yourself. Uh, just just but... pictures. Yeah, just pictures. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, just a, a picture is, is fine. <laughs> No, but it is an interesting thing. Yeah. Do you, so do you find it? Are you on the Tweety Box? Uh, I've been doing the Tweety Box. Yeah? Yeah. I'm yeah. a tweeter from time to time. And do you, do you, where do you get your news from? Uh, I, I go on uh, Huffington Post. A lot of times, interestingly, you'll find that uh, Twitter is actually a good place for news. There was a little Unverified bit of Unverified reports. Unverified. Yeah. Right, right. But if you feel a little bit of an earthquake or something, I, I felt one in L.A., and I was like, was that an earthquake? And none of the news sites had that information. But on Twitter, everyone's like, what the... Was that an earthquake? And then you realize I'm not alone. <laughs> I think that's unverified reports. Uh, no, you can, there's a little app you can get now for earthquakes. The USGS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you just, you know, you go, was that an earthquake? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. validated because my phone told me uh -huh. uh, that it was an earthquake. <laughs> so my house falling down doesn't, you know, do it, but I've got an app that told me it actually yeah. happened. Yeah, and it, it vibrates whenever there's an earthquake. Right. Yeah. And so does everything else, obviously, of course. Exactly. <laughs> It's, a, it's an interesting thing, though. I find myself fascinated by it recently. I've, I've been the subject of some internet speculation recently, and I find it shocking. Mm -hmm. People just make, make stuff up. Yeah. And then, and then reputable news sites um, take it, and they say, sources are saying, yeah. or rumors they're, they're are. They're going on Twitter. And then, boom, that's it. That's, it becomes a story. Jack239. Right. This yeah. is my source. This is the uh, yeah. rumors are saying. The scuttlebutt is. They put in any of that stuff, uh -huh. and then just print any old crap. Yeah. Has it ever happened about you in your life? Uh, a little bit. Not really. 
Uh, I can't think of a specific. Have thing. you ever uh, printed a rumor about anyone on the All internet? The time. Yeah, I think. You know what I did once? Actually, there is an industry site called Deadline Hollywood. You've yes. probably seen that. Yeah, yeah, of course. And there is a comment section, and you can post things anonymously. So when it came, there was some Salem stuff, and I was like, that Salem show is really great. <laughs> I did that voice as I typed yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. Because people reading it be going, boy, this is going to appeal to me. <laughs> as just, I got to tune in and watch yeah, this Yeah, sure, I got to watch this, guy. Yeah, see? I like to wear blue suits, too. <laughs> no, the thing is, though, now you've copped to, uh, you know, commenting on yourself on deadline, that's it. You, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'm blacklisted now. No, you won't be blacklisted. Yeah. Blue-listed. Blue-listed. <laughs> No, it'll be fine. Okay. Do you follow the basketball at all? I love the basketball. Ah, which team no. do you? Uh, uh, I love favorite? because I love Greg Popovich. I love the Spurs. Uh -huh. uh, I love all teams. I really love players. Uh -huh. Like, Kevin what about Durant. guys who own uh, basketball teams? Anybody? Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of those that I like. Yeah. There's this one guy that I don't like so much, though. Yeah. yeah. It seems an odd business. You know? It's appalling. It's really appalling. Yeah. I loved what Charles Barkley said on uh, Inside the NBA the other night. He, uh, he was brought up this Martin Luther King quote where he said, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. And I thought, I'm glad that people are focusing on this and paying attention to it because, I mean, we need to be aware that this is happening a lot, even when it's happening oh, behind sure. closed yeah, doors. Yeah, it's epidemic, epidemic. Yeah. yeah, and it's unacceptable. Yes. It's completely unacceptable. It, it must be unacceptable in private as well as public. Exactly. No, I think sometimes people... Especially with your... Yes, absolutely. Girlfriend. Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. Yeah. You know, and I, and I think that, you know, sometimes I've heard people say, well, you know, the First Amendment, people should uh, be able to say what they want. And yeah, absolutely, they should yeah. be able to say what you want. But the NBA doesn't have to say, well, you can be part of our gang. They can yeah. say, get out. You know, because yeah. they, you know... We have a right to tell him we don't like what he's saying. Right. Yeah. That's, I, it's always the argument I have with some comedians that they say, you know, I say, that's a terrible joke. And they go, you're oppressing me. It's my right to tell that joke. And I go, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's my right to tell you you're a crikey douchebag. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a terrible joke. Yeah. Um, and then you have the right to bear arms so you can go in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then it escalates and then somebody shouts, witch! And then burn him, I say! And then everybody goes crazy. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Awkward pause? Is that the way to do it, you think? Uh, Is that or, how we go out? Yeah, or, or we could have a little meditation. You want a little meditation? Yeah. I, you know what? I want to know about your tattoo because we're talking about America, pre-colonial America, all that. Yeah, this stuff. is pre. Well, this is colonial America. This yeah. is uh, this is 1754 in the Pennsylvania Gazette. You got that done in 1754? Yeah, 1754. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin did this himself. Uh, yeah. He was pretty toasted. Uh, well, we now, what is this we all here? were, except for Adams. What a bore, man. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, everyone was kind of like, you know, and I was like, ah, and I was like, ah. <laughs> and then they all formed a country. And, and Samuel I, and Adams, the beer guy, didn't drink. No, no, he didn't. I just like to taste the beer. Uh, I just tasted that shit, then spit it out. Yeah. I did like what that guy said on Deadline <laughs> Hollywood, though. He was great. Dead on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well. Uh, all right. So we meditate. Meditate, and then okay. it. Okay. All right. Say good night, Jeff. Good night, Jeff.